Hi, you, you can't see me, but this is Jay Nicholas for the We're going to tie a winter steelhead fly that is a, a tube version of a polar shrimp. Um, I'm going to start with a Pro Sport Fisher micro tube. Oops, I'm not going to start with that. I'm going to start with a hook guard. It's silicone, it's on a flexi needle. And, and these are all hypnotic suggestions, sub, subliminal suggestions to go out and buy more stuff, support the economy, do your part. Um, just kidding. Um, I'm, I'm using the Avivas uh, thread here. This is uh, 8 aught. You could use 6 aught. It's uh, pretty tough stuff. If you have any old thread, will probably work just fine. So you notice I, I've covered about a bit over a quarter of an inch of the tube uh, with my thread and put on a little cement. Now this, this stuff here is uh, polar chenille. It's a copper UV and it, it's, uh, it's really nice stuff. Uh, Brian doesn't use it on, on his sylvanator, but um, I like to use it because it, uh, oh, it in increases the fish catching powers of the fly by a factor of 0.325 or something like that. At least in my mind it does. Now, one thing you'll find, I'm going to wrap this around here, and uh, I'll mention when you're using a polar chenille, this is the only polar chenille that is largely straight. Uh, all the dyed colors, the, the material gets uh, kind of crinkly because it, they have to heat it to get the dye to set. Um, and uh, you know, a lot of people like the polar chenille and all, it, it comes in all sorts of colors. This is my favorite, the copper UV, because it has copper strands and little clear UV strands. So you see I wound back over it a little bit here to get those little fibers facing towards the rear. Now a polar shrimp has a white wing. Um, and what I'm using, going to use here is a, a kind of a cream colored rabbit strip. And I'm going to cut a little bit of a taper at both ends of this strip. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, I know why I do it at this end. I don't know if it wiggles more on this end or not, but, but I, I do it back there. You, you can do it or not. First, I'm going to figure out about how long I want it to be. So here's where my hook guard ends. I think the back of the hook is probably going to be about here. So I want that to be about where my rabbit, the rabbit strip hide ends. So about there. So now I look where I'm going to tie it in and I, I know I need to shorten it a little bit. So there I shorten it. And now I've got some loose fur. I take that off and then I trim that flush with the hide. Now, now I could, I could just wrap this on the way it is, but uh, the, the reason I want to put a taper here is just so I have a little bit less bulk. And having a little less bulk means it's going to be easier. See, that's just a little bit of a taper there. It's going to be a little bit less bulk when I'm tying in my schlap and feather. Now, at this point, if, if you're going to tie uh, uh, tie this fly the way it typically is, you, you you would put a little bit of flashaboo on both sides and a little bit of ostrich on both sides. Um, I'm not going to do that, but I'm using a schlap and feather here. And I, I chose a schlap and feather that has some of this uh, da soft, downy, marabou-like barbules. Um, 
at the very base. Sometimes I will tie this fly, uh, I'll put on a hot pink schlappen first, and then I'll do the shrimp pink. This one I'm just going to use the shrimp pink. Notice I, I trimmed that feather first. And now I'm going to, um, if I'd left these saddles, or these uh, schlappen feathers long, I could just wind it without a hackle plier, but I cut it short, so I need my hackle plier. Now I'm using the base end of this humor uh, tube tool. Um, it does a wonderful job of help me, helping me fold my hackle. And you don't have to fold your hackle, but it, it will help keep uh, it, it'll help keep those barbules uh, angled towards the rear of the fly. And I gotta tell you, you know, anytime you make these videos, you keep your fingers crossed that things work out. Because you know when you're tying flies, everything doesn't work out all the time. So far, things are looking good. So I put one turn over and I took my hackle plier off. Trim the stem. Um, I have no idea how many turns of thread I took there. It's not. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that you don't uh, you don't get too big a lump of thread in the front. I tied two whip finishes. The first one's probably all you need. The second one's for luck. Now we're going to finish this off. Uh, Brian typically finishes these flies off with a bead. Now the, the tough part is finding beads that will actually fit on these tubes. And I've, I've had very inconsistent luck. Uh, sometimes the Spirit River quarter inch beads fit, sometimes they don't. This is a hairline tungsten cone in gold. It's, it's a large size large. And I've had very good success with these large cones fitting on the microtube. I have not found them to fit as consistently on the nanotube or the 4040 tube. But on the microtube, they're all supposed to be the same diameter. But I, I haven't, I don't know, maybe they are, maybe it's just me. But there you go, there, now, now this fly will get down pretty quickly, it will wiggle, it's a, this is a nice size, it's about two and a quarter inches long, uh, not too big, not too small. Um, I really like this color combination. I'm now going to finish this fly off. Um, normally I'd, I'd put the fly down and cut this with a razor blade, but I'll try to keep it in view here. I'll use a razor blade because it's less likely to collapse the tube. And now, with just the blue part of the flame, I'm just going to touch that gently. And now the, the micro tube will it will seal up a little bit. So I always open it up with a bodkin or a similar tool. So to rig this fly, you would put your leader through the fly and out through the hook guard. You'd use a ring eye hook, tie on your ring eye hook, and then pull your leader tight until the um, until the eye of the hook just barely goes into the hook guide. And you could fish this fly uh, with the hook. I would typically fish this with the hook down. Um, I think you pretty much need to because if you fish it with the hook point up, it, it will 
it will interfere with the wiggle of the rabbit. So there you have it. Uh, this is a tube version of a polar shrimp. Uh, very, very effective steelhead colors in, um, especially in steelhead green water. Um, got a little bit of flash, got nice shrimp pink, a nice creamy white wing. Hope you get a chance to, to tie some of these and get out and fishing. Thank you.